Every Ollie fan down in Booktube liked Garbagus a lot, but the Grump, who lived just north of Booktube, did not. The Grump hated Garbagus the whole Garbagus season. Now, please don't ask why. No one quite knows the reason. It could be his nickname given by his co-hosts. It could be, perhaps, that his faves get the roasts. But I think that the most likely reason of all may have been that his trash collection was two sizes too tall. Whatever the reason his nicknames or his faves, he stood there on Garbagus Eves hating the Ollie fans. For he knew every Ollie fan watching Criminali was busy right now putting trash on a TBR for their jollies. And they're buying their laymans, he snarled with a sneer. Tomorrow's Garbagus, it's practically here. Then he growled with his grump fingers nervously drumming. I must find some way to stop Garbagus from coming. For tomorrow he knew all the Ollie fan girls, boys, and non-binary pals would rake bright and early. They'd rush for their autobiographies written by Pedro Pascal. And then, oh, the laughs, oh, the laughs, laughs, laughs. That's one thing he hated, the laughs, 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 laughs. Then the Ollie fans, young and old, would sit down with the William W. Johnstone, and they'd Johnstone, and they'd Johnstone, Johnstone, Johnstone. They would read the novelizations and the shifters with sexy beasts, which was something the grump couldn't stand in the least. And then they'd do something he liked least of all. Every Ollie fan down on Booktube, the tall and the small, would stand close together with the Garbagus bingo board in a dash. They'd stand hand in hand, and the Ollie fans would start saying, movie tie-in novels are trash. They'd mock, and they'd mock, and they'd mock, mock, mock. And the more the Grump thought of putting movie tie-ins in the Garbagus roster, the more the Grump thought, I must protect the good name of Alan Dean Foster. Why, for two years I've put up with it now. I must stop this Garbagus from coming. But how? Then he got an idea. The Grump got a wonderful, awful idea. I know just what to do, the grump laughed with a clang, and he took off his glasses and adopted British slang, and he chuckled and clucked, what a great grumpy folly. With no glasses and this slang, I look just like Saint Ollie. All I need is a Venus, the grump looked around, but since Venus is a regal cat, there was none to be found. Did that stop the old grump? No, the grump simply said, if I can't find a Venus, I'll make one instead. So he called his cat Loomis, then he told him to meow and British, and he taught him allegiance to the queen and to be a little skittish. Then the grump said, crime, pulp, or that type of thing, and the imposter Ollie started recording his scam. He snuck into the Ollie fan subscriptions while they were all watching Michael K. Vaughn's 24 pre-Garbacus jam. When he came to his first line, he did declare, I read no more trash, only Jane Eyre. These movie tie-ins, he grinned, are just as good as Moby Dick. Then he slandered and sabotaged with a smile most unpleasant, as he did declare that he would need no more vintage, only the present. He destroyed men's adventure. He even said nice things about James Patterson. And now, grinned the grump, I would throw away all my smut. After posting the video, he did find a comment, Little Trash Lover 69420, who was no more than 42. The grump had been caught by this trash loving reprobate, who'd clicked the video before he changed his name. Trash Lover 69420 commented on the video of the grump, Criminoli? Why? Why are you throwing away your trashy smut? Why? But you know that old grump was so smart and so slick, he thought up a lie and he thought it up quick. Why, my sweet little tot, the fake criminali replied. There was a printing error, and this copy of long arm has no sex in it, he opined. So I'm sending it to the publisher, my dear. They'll add the French maid, then I'll bring it back here. And his fib fooled the early commenter. Then he hearted the comment and linked him back to Michael K. Vaughn's 24-hour eve of Garbagus rave. On his TBR, he left nothing but literature from the Book of the Month Club. And the one speck of trash that he left on his shelf was a Dean Koontz book that was too trashy for any one's self. Then he recorded videos on all the other genres, leaving Koontz books much too trashy in everyone's shelves. It was a quarter past dawn, all the ravers still with Roger. All the Ollie fans 
still entranced when he changed his profile name like an old codger. Classy literature only to those who follow Criminali, he was grumpusly humming. They're finding out now that no Garbagist is coming. They're waking up. I know just what they'll do. Their mouths will hang open a minute or two. Then every Ollie fan down in booktube will all comment boo-hoo. Now that's some trash, grinned the grump, that I simply must read. So he paused and the grump opened up his YouTube. And the comments he did read were so dire. It started lowercase and it started to grow. But, but the comment wasn't sad. Why, this comment sounded merry. It couldn't be so, but it was merry. Very. He stared down at Booktube. The grump popped his eyes. What he saw was a shocking surprise. Every Ollie fan down on Booktube, the tall and the small, were reading trash without any pushing at all. He hadn't stopped Garbagus from coming. It came from the page. Somehow or other, it came from the page. Just the same. And the grump with his video with middling reviews stood puzzling and puzzling. How could it be so? It came from the page without layman. It came without harlequin. It came from the page without crime, pulp, aura, or that type of thing. Then the grump thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe Garbagus, he thought, isn't red with a sneer. Maybe Garbagus, perhaps, means a little bit more. And what happened then? Well, in Booktube they say... That the, the grump just stopped being a little bitch and, you know, let people enjoy things. And the minute his heart didn't feel quite so tight, he changed his name back. And he brought back the trash and the movie tie-ins of the novelizations for all the TBR. And he himself, the grump, did a group read with all the Ollie fans, Aliens Earth Hive.